today on uh, The Other Dr. Oz, um, we're going to have a goat surgeon come in. So let's just bring him on in. Bring him on in. This is um, Isaac Kalison. He is a um, professional goat surgeon, actually. He likes to sew their arteries together, you know, when they're not in place and stuff. And he, he does all kinds of cool stuff. So um, tell me, what, what's the best part about your job? I think the best part is whenever you get to get in their stomach and just... You know, touch their organs. It's just I like I like the gross stuff. You know? I mean, so like, tell me about the consistency of the kidneys and stuff. Like, uh, when you squeeze each organ, can you tell what organ it is without looking? Oh you know yeah, I mean? for like, sure. Because like, the kidneys, they they kind of have like a firmness to them. Yeah. As like the liver, the liver's more mushy and stringy. I see. I see. Now, um, when you are dissecting a goat. Does it like go under any type of anesthesia? Does it scream? Is it awake? Does it know exactly what's going on? Oh yeah, we put it to sleep before we do it, and then once it wakes up, it might be sore, but they won't feel anything during the surgery. All right. So, um, is there like a rehab rehabilitating stage for the goats afterwards? Like, oh yeah, they they have to like be isolated from all the other goats until they heal. Okay, that's that's what I figured. Now, what's your uh, favorite tool to use on the goat usually? Well, I usually use a scalpel to get them open, yeah. and then uh, probably use like a just uh, a pair of rusty scissors set. or yeah. something. Yeah. Cut up. All right. Due to some technical difficulties, our goat surgeon had to leave, so we're bringing someone else in. He is a gynecologist. His name is Howie Felterup. So let's. Bring them all on in. Sexism is a big thing right now, and I mean, girls can go into the military, so I think that I could do something like that. Yeah, I mean, that is a good point, you know what I mean? Like, there is that heavy stigma, and it's, it's kind of empowering to see a man go into a field that they said they couldn't. Now, some people say, like, men go and try to do that for the pleasure of it, you know when, when, what I mean? Like, you like to feel it, women. Is that, is that true? Like, what do, you, what do you have to say about people saying that? No, that's, that's not true. So, like, if a hot girl came in and you were obviously very attracted to her, do you still, you know, do your job? Well, it's my job. I really have to do it. Yeah, I mean, I feel that. I just feel like it's kind of wrong. Like, you're almost, like, raping her or something. Well, I mean, it's not really rape because they come in there for that. I, I mean, I guess you, I, you got a point. You got a point. I will put my liberal ideas down. You you are 100% correct about that, sir. Now, um... I, tell me a little bit understand my I'm hard at exactly what's making you go into this. so the, the stigma around it yes but I don't understand that completely like your motive I feel like there's some there's something else like there's a full reason like something as a childhood that happened to you maybe that made you fully just want to be well, a vaginal doctor well my my mom whenever she was a kid she got STDs and she died from it oh really yeah and yeah. so I figured like like how it is now, more girls are getting it than ever, so I figured I'd help. Yeah, I mean, you're 100% correct. Uh, you know, the state that women are in today, um, a lot of times that they find themselves getting STDs. STDs are very rampant now, and uh, it's good that we have good men like this man over here, you know, curing the world of STDs by touching women in, in offices and stuff. I mean, I'm a guy, I don't know what a gynecologist really is, or anything about gynecology, but I respect this man a lot, and I don't know, we're gonna, we're just, we're just gonna end it now, um, you know, uh, we're gonna finish it off with a good old thumb wrestle, so, I mean, he's got pretty strong hands, you know what I mean, so, good from all this feeling, I, I don't know about this man, oh, oh, oh. alright, so, um, I obviously lost with this man's amazing abilities, and strong hands, you know, he, his work is his hand, so I understand. I, I'll take my L, but um, you know, I'm just gonna wrap it up. Thank you for uh, coming onto the show. Thank you for um, everything, and I'll see you guys next time.
on the other Dr. Oz.